My name is Mark Cabange. I live in Edmonton, Canada, and I'm the founding vice president of the Tamarack Institute, uh, where I worked from 2001 to 2011 running the Vibrant Communities Initiative, and I'm now an associate with Tamarack running my own group called Here to Their Consulting. The big challenge is reminding people that we're dealing with complex, not simple issues. And we're so used to tackling simple issues that have predetermined solutions and where implementation is straightforward and only one organization can manage it. When in fact complex issues are very difficult to understand, we learn a ton as we implement and it requires multiple organizations to work on. Uh, traditional uh, uh, modes of leadership say give me quick and predictable outcomes when in fact collective impact is a high risk, high reward kind of intervention. So we actually let need people to know if you want the traditional responses, we're going to get traditional outcomes. If we're to move the needle on complex issues, please be ready for something that's more adaptive and unpredictable. Convening a local leadership table over time is one of the most important and most challenging parts of the collective impact uh, journey. And there's, there's lots of things to be said about that. Here's a couple things that stick out for me. Number one is actually to organize the leadership journey around small campaigns or even lurches. And depending on the kind of work we do, we all break it up into phases, the discovery phase, the planning phase, the implementation phase, etc. Each of those phases has different kinds of rhythms, different kinds of expectations and different kinds of outcomes. And we need different people for different kinds of phases. People who are good at exploration, discovery, planning work may not be excellent at implementation work. So organizing leadership work in chunks and allowing people to go get on the train and off the train. Number two is within those phases, how do we design leadership and governance and stewardship work in a way that is meaningful? People are busy. They don't need to come to meetings where the outcomes are predetermined. Providing them authentic leadership opportunities to shape the plan and the collective impact effort and the work rather than respond to uh, uh, information updates and activity updates is also quite critical. So, Plan it by stages and give people meaningful work in each stage. Uh, again, lots of considerations go into uh, what makes uh, a successful versus a non-successful collective impact efforts. Two that stand out for me uh, are number one, having people at the table who are relentlessly dissatisfied with the status quo. Uh, collective impact by definition is a disruptive enterprise. It actually is based on the idea that the current systems and ways of doing things are inappropriate. So it has to be disrupted and we need people who are so dissatisfied that they're willing to deal with the ambiguity and the tension of disrupting existing ways of doing things. So that's number one. If you don't have a group that's interested in that, nothing will get disrupted, nothing will get done. Number two um, is having people who paradoxically want to see change in the, in the immediate term, but know that the collective impact process isn't sometimes long enough that they won't see the big picture changes that they want to uh, have unfold. It's much like building a cathedral <clears throat> in 18th century Europe where you contribute to the cathedral and you do your part, uh, but you know that the thing that's finally done will take a generation uh, to unfold and you may not see that. So you have to paradoxically think in the long term, but be satisf satisfied with shorter term progress.